I have uh, a lot of questions here about YouTube growth because there are so many people they are asking this question about YouTube growth especially and 90% uh, customers are from India actually and they, everybody is asking about YouTube Pro, about features, some other questions about their functions so instead of giving the answer uh, uh, under the videos uh, better I make a video uh, special for those uh, uh, answers only so will be useful for everyone so first of all uh, I want to start uh, with the packaging material so when you buy the new one so make sure you must remove the, all the packing material on the table because uh, in the bumper they especially from the sides they put some uh, there are two uh, rubber packs over there so the bumper won't shake if you won't remove those uh, packing material so what will happen the depot will go straight Pick the wall and won't reverse back. Why? Because the bumper will not bounce back, so the board cannot reverse back. That is the reason. So must remove the packing material. Then only you start using the depot. And the other thing is that uh, uh, some customers they complain that the depot moves very slow. So that is also actually related to the packing material. I let you know what is the reason. Uh, when you buy the new one, so on the front, the bumper, for example, this is the depot here, so in front here the bumper, the black color, that bumper also got a plastic sheet, that plastic sheet need to remove, because some customers, they think that maybe this one is like something like our mobile screen protector, so it won't get scratches, that is not actually the mobile protector, that is just only the packing material, so before, before start using, you have to remove that plastic, uh, plastic sheet. If you won't remove the plastic sheet, what will happen? Depot always think that uh, maybe there is some obstacle in front. That is the reason Depot is moving very slow. Once you remove the plastic sheet, Depot uh, I mean, uh, will move uh, very fast at its, uh, with its normal speed. So that one is the main thing that must remove all the plastic material, whatever is on the Depot, then only start using it. And the third thing is, uh, uh, some customer, uh, I am surprised, uh, they buy the new depot and put there for charge. Uh, they remove all the plastic material, it's okay, but they put there for charge and didn't turn on the depot. So make sure before you put there for charge, uh, most of the, uh, almost 90% uh, depots, uh, they have uh, the top cover, lift up the top cover and underneath there is a power button, so power on the depot from there. So this is the normal, I mean how we do the power on the depot. If the power button is off, the depot cannot charge. Whether you put there overnight for charging, in the morning battery will be low. And it's keep giving you the whole night, it will keep giving you the red light error, it will be beep sound. Uh, and in YouTube Pro model, at the side, at the right side of the wheel, on the top, you can see the right side of the casing, there is uh, the power on off button, you can power on from there. Then only you, uh, you can power on from there and then you charge. So the first time uh, must have to charge 3 to 4 hours, after that you can continue using no problem. And uh, the other question the customer they are asking that uh, after full charge shall we disconnect from the charger? This is the most frequently asked question and uh, I already make uh, the other videos also separately for this question. And uh, the customer asked me that uh, after full charge shall we disconnect from the charger or not? Okay, so I let you know that if you are using the depot daily or every alternate day you are using or at least once a week you are using then no need to remove the depot from the charger let it charge 24 7 no problem no issue because in the depot there is function after full charge automatically cut off cut off doesn't mean that the depot will remove from the charger cut off means that uh, uh, the battery stop charging so once the battery start draining like 90% uh, left then the depot start charging again so this is a function in all the EcoWeb depots that after full charge the depot automatically cut off and once the battery start draining they will start charging again so whenever the customer want to use they give you the 100% full charge battery that is the reason so no need to disconnect uh, after full charge if you are using at least once a week uh, if you are not using the depot more than 2 weeks for example we want to go overseas uh, for vacations uh, or we are, we are going somewhere for holidays, uh, we are not at home and we don't want to use the depot at least 2 weeks, 2 weeks plus. It's just only if 2 weeks, 2 weeks plus. After full charge, just power off the depot and disconnect from the charger and disconnect the charger also from the power. Like this, you can save your electricity, you can save your battery capacity also, you can, the battery can use longer like this. Uh, so, but this one you can do only after full charge. 
If you don't charge the battery and disconnect from the charger, you go overseas for holidays, maybe after one month you come back, sometimes battery cannot charge back. If you don't charge the battery before you disconnect from the charger, that is the reason. So before disconnect from the charger, make sure the battery is 100% full charge. And, uh, okay. Uh, the one more question is, uh, uh, this one also is from actually India, the customer asking that is there any mapping feature in this uh, model, YouTube Pro, is there any mapping function in this one? Uh, because there are so many customers that are using this keyboard now and uh, some of them maybe they are thinking that uh, all new models got mapping features. In this one, actually the YouTube Pro, to be very frank, I let like you know that YouTube Pro is a basic vacuuming robot which can do the vacuuming and moving together. That's all. And it can do the systematic cleaning. Go straight, come back straight. Go straight, come back straight. This is a normal feature in this model. But there is no mapping feature. You cannot uh, block the area, you cannot see the keyboard where it's functioning, and you cannot, uh, I mean, what, uh, put some boundaries, something like this. You cannot save the map. There is no mapping function in this one. But it works systematically. That is the main thing in this model. It will go straight, come back straight, go straight, come back straight. It means that it will cover almost 90% of your house, easily can cover. And it's not only that it will go straight and come back straight, there are some other modes also available. If you run the default on auto mode, it will cover the other modes as well. It will go along the wall and it will go wherever it detects the dust, it will start settling over there. Mean that this area also will be very clean wherever it will find the dust. And it will go straight like that. That, so it means that almost 90-95% uh, can cover house no problem. So one more question the customer they asked me that uh, sometimes cannot return back to charge. So what is the reason why the devote cannot return back to charge? Because in this model, YouTube Pro don't have the mapping feature. If those models, the all new models almost uh, got the mapping feature, uh, those models, uh, they already know that where is my charging dock, where is my phone. After they complete the work or the battery load, they will go straight to their dock, their docking station to the charge to their house so that they can charge because they have the mapping feature. But uh, in YouTube Pro, there is no mapping function. So what happens once the battery low, it doesn't mean that the battery low is totally dying. Battery low means that still there is 20% battery in the depot. So that 20% battery it will use to search the charging dock and it will go always from the right side. For example, the charging dock is here and the default battery low is here. So it will go like that, start searching the charging dock. And once it catches the signal from the charger, then only it will return back to the charge and it starts charging. And the charging dock signal range is 3 to 4 meter. That is, uh, I mean, you have to make sure that the default, uh, you make sure put the charging dock somewhere in the open area where from where the default easily can catch the signal and can return back if you no problem. So make sure the depot range, the charger signal range is 3 to 4 meter only. Once the depot cross that range, reach in that range, catch the signal from the charger, then only can return back to charge and can charge. So this is the normal. If uh, your house is quite big and the charger is over there in that corner and depot is working in somewhere else and the battery load keeps searching, searching, searching and the battery totally dies, cannot find the charger, then of course uh, sometimes we have to put the, this model manually for charge. Mm. And uh, one more question is uh, that the water flow is very So this one actually is the most frequently one of this uh, also is a question that the customer are asking about this one the water flow is very high. In this model uh, the water flow is really very high. It's like I mean not very high. It's uh, I mean higher than the other model and the other thing is that we cannot control this water flow. This one is already fixed from the company. We cannot change this water flow. So the one thing uh, how I can I, mean, I can suggest for you is that uh, you can don't pour the full water tank. You pour the half water tank. So once the half water tank finish, so it will start cleaning. It won't stop. But if the water tank is full and the small area you are using, the boat will keep continue. I mean cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And of course the once the boat is running, so water also continuously is coming out. So that is why the water is continuously coming out, so the mopping cloth will be very wet. Once the mopping cloth is too wet, so it starts stacking with the, sometimes it's a, you can see the floor. If you have the wooden floor especially, then the depot will stop faster. If you have the slippery tiles, shiny tiles, then still okay, can carry you using. 
can use no problem. But uh, if you use the default uh, without uh, mopping function, some customers they just want to use for the uh, vacuuming only. Because in this model, this is the only one model actually uh, which have uh, uh, which has uh, two type of brushes, the main brush, which is uh, one is the normal brush like other remotes, and the one is for the uh, pets. If we have the pets at home, so this uh, I mean model for the one that uh, pet kit, pet care kit you can say. So that one can pick up all the hairs from the floor, and uh, the, those small small hairs won't stick with the uh, brush also because that one is a special rubber, the brush they made for this model. So if you use only for vacuuming, you don't use the mopping in this model, then this model is very good and the suction power is quite strong, can pick up all the dust and hairs from the floor. It's, I mean, uh, not, I mean, because this one, I already informed you that this one is a basic vacuuming robot. But basic doesn't mean that uh, only a little bit vacuuming, but suction power is quite strong can do the vacuuming and mopping together also, no problem. But if you use only for vacuuming, then it's very good, won't give you any trouble, won't spoil very far. This is the feature you must, uh, because if you use the mopping, of course sometimes the depot will stuck somewhere because of the mop. And uh, the other thing I want to let you know that uh, some customers actually they won't care about the mopping cloth. The depot sometimes stuck somewhere when they are using the mop. Why? Because the mopping condition is very bad. They won't care of the mop sometimes. So that is the reason every time when uh, we finish cleaning, we must check where, what is the mopping condition. If, I mean, it's very dirty or uh, I mean the chair off already uh, need to change, so better you change the mopping cloth, then it won't stuck anywhere. It, I mean, continuously can use no problem, no issue. So the one thing, the mopping cloth also effect on the vacuuming, sometimes I mean stop uh, or the speed is very slow or sometimes stuck somewhere because of the mopping, just because of the mopping crop action. So that's one also we have to check the mopping crop every time. And uh, one more thing I let you know, once the default, it's not only YouTube group. This function is, uh, the, this request you can say is for all models, whatever model EcoX you are using, no problem. Whenever the default go back to charge, start charging, must remove the water is over, must remove the water tank the mopping cloth, mopping plate, everything will remove and wash the mopping plate and whenever you want to start using again then only you can install back all the items. While charging, don't attach the water tank or the water mopping plate, everything you must have to remove. Because if you won't remove the mopping cloth, in fact sometimes the water tank is leaking for some issues, so water keep continuously leaking, leaking and touch with the charging cloth, charging cloth also can spoil and the depot uh, can damage the battery as well if uh, it attached with the charging connectors. So that's why whenever it start charging, go back to charge, start charging, you must remove the water tank. That's, I mean, most important thing. Okay, the last question is uh, that uh, how many minutes after full charge uh, this depot YouTube Pro can function? Normally, actually, the new models can function almost uh, two hours plus. This model also can uh, run two hours plus after full charge. And uh, for full charge, it will take around three to four hours. After 3 to 4 hours, the depot should be full charged and after that can use around 120 to 150 minutes easily can use. But the runtime actually, it doesn't mean that if I say that 160 minutes can function, it doesn't mean that exactly 160 minutes it will work. It depends on the area where you are using. If uh, you are using the depot somewhere at this type place, uh, as uh, I'm here, you can see there are so many chairs here and it's taxi here. So if you are using at this type place, of course the runtime will be around maybe 100 minutes or 110 minutes. Because there are a lot of chairs, so you would always stack with the chairs, so reverse back, go back, like that. So that is why I also observe the power. So it takes some, uh, I mean, uh, the, the battery runtime also will be slightly shorter because of this issue. If you are using in the open area, like uh, big hall you are using, or the living room, and there is only one sofa, or one table only, or the TV lounge only. So if this type of area, the big area you are using, maybe the runtime will be 160 minutes. That's the reason actually. The runtime can be different according to your area where you are using. So I hope uh, you like this video. If uh, you like this video, so please subscribe my channel as well and uh, share this video to your friend whoever is using this YouTube Pro model. So hopefully they will like this video and thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.